Okay, so the MCU, to me, is officially dead. Making Captain Marvel the weed of the MCU is essentially the equivalent to making Yamsa the weed and replace Goku for the leader of the Z Fighters. Captain Marvel is about to take the leader of the Marvel Cinematic Universe at the Endgame. And, part, and probably at the Spider-Man Far From Home as well. Chris Evans already has announced that he's done with Marvel Cinematic Universe at the Endgame and Marvel Zombie Dream might join him. There is no official confirmation. Most of the build up to the superhero film is centered around Tony Stark who kicked off the MCU 2008 Iron Man. Which, the, here's the thing. Tony Stark is a far more better character than Captain Marvel. Tony Stark then go around and have fake smiles everywhere. You actually like there was actually like, peril in um, Iron Man. There was actually conflict and tension in, in Iron Man. Captain Marvel has none of that because Captain Marvel is a boring movie, just like X Men Origins Wolverine. Remember that movie? Nobody does, and everybody forgot in that movie because of how bad it was. Whether he will sacrifice herself, himself to save the other Avengers, and by proxy, or if he pepper pox or have every ever after and off screen, it's time for Iron Man, Captain America to go away. Who we'll have a new and with the new? Why isn't Spider Man the face of the MCU? Why isn't Spider Man? Spider Man is the most popular Marvel character. Yes, Spider. No one, nobody, nobody likes Captain Marvel. Nobody likes her. Why can't you make Spider-Man the face of the MCU? Everybody likes Spider-Man. There are of course two people who don't like Spider-Man. They'll probably just like this video, but... Or even Black Panther. More people like Black Panther than Captain Marvel. More people like Doctor Strange. And of course the way is sort of addition to the team Captain Marvel. All three of these characters mentioned above will make better... Better replacements for Iron Man as the more beloved characters in Captain Marvel. The official movie special guide, Matt, Marvel Studios chief Kevin Feige officially confirmed that Carol Danvers' Captain Marvel will take over the weed of the MCU with or without Tony is yet to be seen. Feige is also called Carol. Oh yeah, you mean her smile, her face, her frowns. Oh. Captain Marvel really has no personality. It's like having, um, Yamsa. Yamsa from Dragon Ball Z has more personality than Captain Marvel. Is that, oh, uh, who, who's a really bad character from Dragon Ball Z that would be a bad main character? Oh, yeah. Z oh, even, actually, Zion's more interesting than Captain Marvel. Uh, forget about that. But, and here's is what they call, why he called Captain Marvel, a real person that so so happens to be these amazing spaces in outer space. Well, you want to see people find outer space, let's go watch Dragon Ball Super. Dale, I, I, I made, I made, I made you watch something way better. To make her work as a character to balance the two sides of her personality of being very human while remaining somebody who is incredibly powerful can find, you know, there's Goku from Dragon Ball Z or, a o o. I, even Superman is more interesting than Captain Marvel, okay? Superman is uh, even Superman. So I don't really like Superman that much. Or at least Superman's better character than Captain Marvel. <laughs> at least they made Superman a better character than Captain Marvel. Superman's a very bland character, but he's one of the first superheroes, so you can't really hate on him for that. Superman is a boring character, but he's basically the embodiment of a generic superhero. Someone who comes from a different planet, someone who is very powerful, and can beat everybody really easily. Someone who's here to save the day. That's what your standard superhero is. And that's when people come up for when people think of superheroes, they always think of Superman. Because he's a generic OG superhero. Captain Marvel is a Superman wannabe. And a Goku wannabe too, since the scenes in Captain Marvel were the really Showing her piling up and like, like in Dragon Ball Z, okay? Uh, okay, I uh, no, actually, you can't really compel Captain Marvel to Dragon Ball Evolution. The quote where's that man? She can have it all. Yes.
Captain Marvel is now the new phase of the MCU. Wow, Captain Marvel Studios. You had to make the... It's like making, like, more of the... World, like, the... Who's, like, more of the most... It's like making some, like, Wink, who doesn't even talk, the leader of the MCU. That, that's, just a, that's just a comparison, because Wink does not talk. He only grunts. Get the joke down. But Captain Marvel is one of the worst Marvel characters. And... <laughs> Marvel Cinematic Universe is doomed, everybody. The MCU is officially doomed. Now we're gonna get out. Now it's gonna wait for how long the A Force movies gonna come out, which is gonna be absolutely a sit a sit so. But Captain Marvel, when will when will we go away? When will your boring face go away? That's my question. Okay, you're you're a, you're the most boring superhero out of all the superheroes ever made. Okay. Uh, there's a few that are worse, but they they they, they only they were, they were canceled. But out of the major superheroes, Captain Marvel is easily the most boring character of all of them. She has very little personality other than oh, I'm a feminist. I fight for equal rights. Uh, okay, I, I think I can end the video. Oh yeah, do you know who Captain Marvel is like? I finally found a good comparison. Way from Star Wars, a very boring character with a generic backstory and can be able to do. Can SBA and is able to do anything right away. Kind of reminds me of Way. Very boring character. That at least he has more emotions than Captain Marvel. Goodbye.